good week, everybody. Hey guys, how is everybody doing this week? It is the week of January 16th through the 20th. I'm talking about the work days. And yeah, we're gonna do another gratitude vlog right now. This vlog is so special um, because I'm actually gonna talk about a great experience I had, which was getting to hear um, Deepak Chopra speak in person. First of all, Oh, I want to talk about like synchronicities. Synchronicities are like when you are thinking about something and then uh, it happens or you get a you, you hear someone else say something about it and it, it just means that things are like syncing up or coming into line with each other. Um, one of the synchronicities that was so cool is like when we got there, we had to print out like a paper ticket that had a number on it and we went to the table and they gave us like the actual ticket. And being that um, this year I'm really trying to focus a lot on gratitude, I thought it was such a cool synchronicity that the quote on the ticket was Express your gratitude to the people who have made your life but the, I felt like, okay, I'm in the right place. Um, being that I got this, I'm gonna keep this forever, hopefully. Um, so, what did he talk about? So, I jotted down a few things that he had mentioned. Um, and I'm going to try to be quick because we try to keep these vlogs short. So he said, um, one thing he said is the mind is every molecule in the body, which made me realize like we don't just hold memories in our brain as some of us might think of it, but our entire being is actually the mind at in motion. That really makes the phrase, um, you are what you think or you think therefore you are or whatever however you want to say it but it really makes that phrase like um have a deeper meaning because it really means that whatever you think your entire being is moving in that direction which could work to your advantage if you are aware of that because i know a lot of us sometimes just think that things are happening to us and we don't take a moment to think okay what vibration was I putting out to actually attract this into my life. Another thing he said was that um, the universe organizes itself for your creation. It's probably not the correct quote word for word, but basically what he was trying to say is that whenever you set your attention on something, everything around you starts to arrange itself to bring that into your reality, um, which is also pretty much law of attraction stuff. So. When it comes to health, he mentioned that our body is an activity. It is constantly recycling itself. That brought a deeper realization to me as far as food and healing go because it means that um, you are able to refresh certain cells in your body um, as long as you change some of the habits and the things that you are eating and maybe even the things that you're doing and there, there were some other points that he made but I don't want to go too much into them because they're kind of like little personal things that I want to keep for myself but there was this really cool moment we got to do meditation along with him and there was this moment where we started and I was like wow i'm actually not listening to my laptop like he's right there a few feet away doing a guided meditation with me with everybody in the room but you know what i mean so <clears throat> so grateful for that experience that is my big what am i thankful for moment today i'm so thankful that i was able to experience Deepak Chopra in person and hear the words come out of his mouth straight to my ear in the flesh and see him what an amazing time it was. I guess I come up with two more things. So I'm grateful for, I'm grateful for this shirt. It was a gift from my mommy for Christmas. Um, and I really like it, it's really comfortable. And it's perfect for this weather because we don't really have winter weather right now. We have like 
springish type weather. I'm grateful for the luxuries and comforts that are available to me. And I always say that and do that and think that because I really want to appreciate what it is that I have now and try not to stress about um, what it could be because what it is is still really wonderful. Um, and I think that's it. Um, I want to share some other things the next time I have my gratitude vlog with you guys. Um, just the direction that some of my Panzu journals have been going. So, I hope your weather was really good. I hope your shoes were comfortable today. I hope that somebody smiled at you today and you smiled back. I hope you're feeling good and breathing good. I hope that your next meal is super delicious. And I'm gonna talk to you guys next time. Things are always working out for you. What are you grateful for today? Year before last for the...